Hey guys, it's Dear Natural 62. It's Warner Marble shout out time. I've switched things around a bit, but it's a way for me to do even more shout outs in one video. So I hope you enjoy this. Tell me if you love the new format. Let's get started. Now I'm gonna put everyone's name down that wanted to see a Warner Marble shout out. So I hope you enjoy this format. It's a way for me to get more shout outs, so definitely keep the shout outs coming. This person wanted to see a green, gray, and purple inspired look. So definitely let's see what we can come up with. And of course, as usual, I'll be answering some random questions. Um, one question that I always get is, what temperature water am I using? This is room temperature water. It's nothing fancy. It's just regular room temperature water. And if you're still having questions about the water, then since you're in the privacy of your own home, then I would play around with the water temperature to see what works best with your nail polishes. Now you wanna use nail polishes that are not too thick. So if you need to use a nail polish thinner to thin out your nail polish, I use Beauty Secrets and I bought that at Sally's. You can definitely try that one or try one at your local beauty supply store. Because the great thing about a nail polish thinner is it restores the nail polish back to its natural state, which is what you want. You don't want your polish to be too thick because that's one of the reasons why it won't spread in the water. I hope I've made that clear. So now, so now let's do a little fast forward motion. Now I've already primed my finger here with a white. Yes, I'm using an artificial finger, so no taping. But since you've seen all my other videos by now, you do know how to tape your finger, so let's get to it. Now it's just finding the best design that you want. And for me, I think I'm gonna do something around this area here. So all you're gonna do is dip your finger in. Now blow on the surface. Taking a toothpick, a Q-tip, or a pen, or anything that you use, just clean the surface of the water. This way, when you pull your finger out, it won't get any excess polish on it. So, let's go for it. Totally cool! I love the color combos. We're gonna let this dry, and maybe we'll accentuate. We'll know at the end, so let's keep moving on. Now this next color combo, they wanted to see a lot of colors. They wanted to see pink. White. Purple. A teal color. And they wanted to see black. So I'm going to go another round of this. funky stuff. I, everything doesn't necessarily have to have a certain pattern to it. That's the great thing about water marble. It can be so many different cute funky patterns. So let's keep moving on, on to our next watercolor combo. They wanted to see a black, gray, and red inspired look. So another common question I get is, do you change the water every time you change your colors. No, what I may have to do is just clean the surface of the water, but I don't have to literally change my whole water system. No, so at the end of this video, what I'll do is I'll show you real quick how I clean the surface of the water. This helps you so you don't have to keep changing your water in between color changes. Okay. 
This is a pretty color combo. This black, gray, and red look. The thing I like best is that the red is not bleeding. Sometimes when you use red, it tends to bleed, especially if you do like red and white, it tends to bleed sometimes. So I'm really loving the fact that it's not doing that in this instance. pretty that is. I love it. Now let's keep moving on. This next person wanted to see a yellow, red, and orange look. Now I want to advise everybody, definitely check out my videos to start recommending colors that I haven't done yet. Because I want to start doing colors that, color combos that I just haven't done yet. So take a look at a few of my videos so you can suggest proper color combos. Now another comment I get is, why does my nail polish go straight to the bottom? The reason for this could be because you're holding up your brush too high. If you notice, I never hold my brush up from here. I'm always close to the water, barely touching the water, in fact. But if you hold your brush up too high because of gravity, the nail polish is just going to go straight to the bottom and create this little bald effect, which you want to try to avoid. Now another question I get is, by the time I go in with my device, I notice that my nail polish is dry already. So what you notice, I never go from the first ring because I know by the time the first or second or third ring, by then you know those are probably dried. But anything in between that is good to go. time if I do a complete flower like this it's because I'm dipping more than one finger in the water and that's another question can you dip more than one finger in the water and the answer is yes you can so now I've already gone in with my primer as yellow so let's go in isn't that pretty all the designs are going to be different. So you'll see how, to, even if you create the same flower, there are ways for you to pick up the design so it'll be a different pattern actually on your nail. So let's keep moving on to our next design. They wanted to see a pink, blue, and white look. I always think of this colors as like cotton candy colors to me because they're so vibrant and so like, edible. I don't know. Whatever you think of pink, white, and blue, I think of cotton candy. I think of carnival. These are the things that come to mind for me. I'm just saying. bubblegum, cotton candy. These are the things that come to mind. <laughs> it always does with this color combo. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's keep moving on. Okay, this person wanted to see an orange, black, and pink look. 
um i'm using a black that has a little bit of a sparkle to it so a lot of people ask me can you use glitter polish yes you can um it's the same thing as any other polish the only thing i've noticed that doesn't work well is um crackle polish for some reason crackle polish does not spread well my experience if you've had something different let me know but glitter works beautifully you'll see that it adds just a little something extra to the design so i thought i'd show that to you This is so cute. See how the glitter, it kind of reflects. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but in person you can see the, the glitter in the black and it absolutely looks so adorable. It adds another dimension to the design. So I'll be moving on. 